Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me on phase two of Journey into Power. Today we're going to go into the awakening phase. The awakening phase is part of the journey into power that builds heat, builds internal heat to allow blood flow to the muscles, which is really important before you get into any power poses or any twisting, you really wanna have some blood flowing in your body. So we're going to do some sun A and sun B, and we're gonna finish with the peak pose of flip dog to side plank. If you wanna stop the video after sun A and practice sun A, that's a great thing to do. If you wanna do both sun A and sun B and the peak pose, feel free to stay with me the entire flow. And then the next video will be vitality, which is the twisting and building up to the peak pose of the crow. Here we go. We finished in integration phase at the top of our mat in mountain pose. So let's start there. Take your feet shoulder width apart, toes 12 o'clock. Put a little micro bend into your knee, lifting your kneecaps, feeling all four corners of your feet pressing into the mat. Pull your belly up and in, just a little contraction to know that it's there and activated. Palms face forward. Shoulders are up and then down and back, relaxed. Chin is parallel to the floor. And if you can, close your eyes for just a moment, a breath or two, just to feel the stability of all four corners of your feet planted into the earth. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Hold and then open your mouth and let it go. Open your eyes. Here we go. I'm gonna turn to the side to show you a side version. Feet shoulder width apart. Inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. Maybe a little back bend. Exhale, dive down. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten the spine, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, high push up. Step the feet back into a high push up position. We're gonna start with the modifications today and then we'll build up and work from there. So knees come down, feet can come up or stay on the mat. Check to make sure that your shoulders and your wrists are in line and that your fingers are spread wide. All 10 fingers are pressing into the mat and your palms. Pull your belly up and in towards your spine. Next breath in, shift forward. So you're above your knees and your shoulders are in front of your fingertips. Check now to make sure. Keeping your elbows by your side, come all the way down. Straighten the legs so the tops of your feet are pressing into the mat. Squeeze your glutes, come up on your fingertips. Bring your elbows closer together, look straight down to your mat. Take a breath in, lift your heart, and look straight down, feel the back. Exhale, come on down. We're gonna do that again. Baby Cobra, inhale. Press the tops of your feet. Exhale, come down. Press your hands into the mat, press up. Come back into a child's pose. Forehead down for just one breath. Exhale, curl your toes, send your hips high, down dog. We're gonna get to the top of our mat. Take your right foot, step to the top of the mat, and then your left. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold, heads heavy. Press your feet into the mat, reach your hands up to the sky. Exhale, fold, soften the knees. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, high push-up position, step back. We're gonna try one more modification, and then we're gonna go from there and build. Feet can be up or down. Inhale, shift forward, pulling the belly in. This time, go halfway down, so your elbows are by your side, looking down. Straighten the legs and straighten the arms. This is more of a easy up dog. If you're ready in your back, 
press the tops of your feet in, lift your knees up off the mat and look up. If this is too much, go back to that baby cobra and let's press back to a child's pose. Now those are the modifications. You can choose what's best for you. Um, and then this next round, I'm gonna show you regular chaturanga, which is high push-up position to low push-up position. And when I say vinyasa, all vinyasa means is flow. Flowing from one position to the next, which is going to be high push-up to low push-up, baby cobra or up dog, pushing back to down dog. That's the flow. Here we go, down dog, curl the toes. Step your left foot, followed by your right. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold, press your feet into the ground, reach up, look up. Exhale, dive down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high push up. And you can go to modify it or give it a try. High push up, shift forward. You can go all the way down or halfway down. That's the challenge for the triceps. You can go into cobra or up dog. Exhale to down dog, use your core. There it is, sun A. We're gonna do five rounds of sun A. I'm gonna work through some of the different parts to it to give you something to focus on each round. And then the last round will be all you. Let's go. This time up on the toes, bend the knees. Now you can walk. Or if your body's ready, you can float to the top of your mat. Inhale to a halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Press your feet down and look up as you rise. And now exhale, dive down. Inhale, lengthen. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Exhale, step back. Look to the top of your mat or in between your fingers. Knees can be down or up. Go halfway down or all the way down. Press the tops of the feet. Cobra or up dog, look up. Exhale, follow your gaze to your feet or in between your ankles and take one resetting breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. And let's go, up on the toes. Bend the knees, walk or float, land soft. Halfway lift and fold. Reach and rise, maybe back bend, and fold. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands down, step it back. I'll show the modified version this time. Shift it forward, inhale. Exhale, halfway down or all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Roll over the toes, down dog. Reset breath. In through the nose. Open your mouth, let it go. That's your resting breath. This next round, we're gonna focus on the breath. It's called Ujjayi. Try and breathe in and out your nose. Here we go, up on the toes. Bend the knees, look, float. Let the air out. Take your breath in through your nose, lengthen, and out through your nose, fold. In through your nose, reach up, pause. Exhale, out your nose, fold. Pause, inhale, halfway lift, hold, exhale, high push up, in through your nose, shift, out through your nose, chaturanga, in through your nose, up dog or cobra, out through your nose, down dog, reset breath, in through the nose, open your mouth and let it go, see if you can make that breath out longer than your inhale. Let's do another round, up on the toes. Bend and look, float without a sound. Light, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Look up between your fingertips. Exhale, soften. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, high push up. Shift forward. Half or all the way down, I'll go all the way down this time. Cobra up dog, I'll go cobra. Exhale, press back down dog. Reset breath, in through the nose, out through the mouth. This last round, I won't say a word. If you wanna follow along by watching, feel free. Otherwise, 
Give it a shot. Go for one round of sun is on your own. Your way. There's not a wrong way. Here we go. Great work. When you're finished, take a reset child's pose. Just for a breath or two to get your mind right. And here's where you can take a pause, reset, or take a few more rounds of sunny on your own. Feel free to press pause. And that concludes the sunny portion of the awakening phase of Journey into Power. And when you're ready, press play and we'll go into Sun B. Starting Sun Bs. Sun Bs are chair pose, warrior one right, warrior one left, and repeat for five rounds. I'm gonna take you through round one pretty slow as a tutorial, and then we'll move a little faster. Let's get started. Meet me in child, I'm sorry, from child's pose into down dog. We're gonna float to the top of the mat if that's accessible for you. Otherwise, just walk your feet up, up on the toes, bend the knees towards the mat. Look, get a little hop. Halfway lift, straighten and fold. Now there's two options on your chair pose. I'm gonna to turn to the front. You can bring your big toes to touch and your heels just slightly apart. Try that. Bring your fingertips to skim the mat. Sit your bottom down, pull your belly in. Reach your hands forward. Look down to your knees. You don't want your knees over your toes. You wanna to sit back like there's a chair behind you. Your hands are palms face each other, thumbs spiral back. I'm gonna turn back the other way. Now, a lot of times we stick our bottom out and we go forward. I want you to tuck your tailbone in, pull your belly in and reach your fingertips up. Relax the shoulders. Spiral the thumbs back towards the back wall. Start to feel this. This is called chair pose, known as Utkatasana, intense pose, for a reason. Look down to your toes, lift all 10 of them, feel the weight in your heels, and then gently place the toes back, keeping the weight in the heels. We're gonna take one more breath with the belly pulled in, Inhale, reach up, and exhale, fold. I'm gonna show you another version of chair pose, so separate your feet, shoulder width apart or near that. Look at your toes, make sure they're at 12 o'clock. Sit back like you're sitting in a chair, lifting your 10 toes, skimming your fingers, pulling the belly in, inhale, reach up. Just notice how this feels for a couple breaths and see what feels better. Looking down, making sure your knees are not over your toes, lifting the arches of your feet, pressing all four corners of your feet into the mat. Take one more breath in, exhale, fold. Take a moment to grab the ankles or go into a rag doll like we did in integration, just to stretch the backs of the legs and think about what feels better in your body. We're all made different. If the toes together, heels slightly apart feels better, do that. If it feels better to take your feet a little wider, try that. That's phase one of Sun B. We're gonna move on. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands down. Now, stay here for a moment, bend your knees. If you wanna try a shoot back into Chaturanga, I'm gonna show you that now. It's not a mandatory thing. I'm gonna take my chest forward and my heels to the back of my mat in one swoop motion. Looking at the top of my mat, pulling my belly in. Exhale with my knees um, up and locked, my elbows by my side, looking down. I don't have to hold this that long, but I'm just here to show you. My elbows are in and bent. Tops of my feet come down and I lift into that up dog and exhale to down dog. Now I'm gonna jump back and work you through that. If you just wanna step back to a high plank, 
You can go to low, up dog, down dog. You can. Or just step back to a down dog. You don't have to vinyasa or flow. It's completely your practice. So let's go to a halfway lift. And exhale, you don't jump to a high. You jump to a low, nice and easy. Cobra or up dog, down dog. That's the transition choice. Moving on, new pose, three-legged dog. Lift your right leg up, toes pointed down. Press your heart to the back wall. Take another breath in, lift higher. Exhale, knee to chest into a high plank. Mindfully step your right foot towards your right thumb. Left foot is flattened. Look at it, 45 degrees, whole foot down. Start to come back to that front foot. Check that your toes are at 12 o'clock and bring your hands to your knee. Good, line your right knee directly over your right ankle. Look back, make sure that back leg is straight. Come back to center. Use your core, reach your arms up for warrior one, facing straight ahead. Lift all 10 toes of your feet and then place them back on the mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Good, I'm gonna turn my position to you. I want you to press your hips down and sink a little lower and then feel your hip pointers. Turn your hip pointers so they are straight ahead. Place your hands right on your hip pointers and reach your arms straight out. This is the position you're looking for in warrior one. Sink a little lower, inhale the arms straight up. This is what you wanna look like in warrior one. Peek up to the sky and look at your hands. Spread your fingers wide, palms face each other, spiral your thumbs back, sink it down. Hold that pose, I'm gonna come back to a side view. Feeling the intensity, creating that heat, spiral the thumbs back, maybe get a little back bend, see where you can take it, and then exhale, hands down. Here's your choice, maybe a one-legged high push-up with your right leg floating, toes pointing down. You can also put your knees down for modified or skip the flow altogether. We shift forward, go half or all the way down. Cobra or up dog, exhale the down dog. Take a reset breath before we go to the left side. Inhale through your nose, open your mouth, let it go. Let's do the other side, bring your toes to touch. Inhale the left leg up straight, left toes pointed down. Press your heart to the back wall, inhale higher. Exhale, knee to your chest, high push up. Lift your hips, step your left foot to your left thumb. Back foot is flat on the right back side of your mat. Look back, make sure that foot's 45 degrees. The whole foot is pressing into the mat. The right leg is straight. Bring your focus to the left. Come to your left knee. Look at how my left knee makes a 90 degree angle. That's what you're going to do. So line up your knee and your ankle and then start to rise. Beautiful. Hands come to the hip like the other side. Press the hips down. Sink a little lower. Take your right hip forward, left hip back. Hands on your hip pointers, reach forward. This is where you want your hips forward and then reach up. Palms face each other. Sink a little lower. Inhale, reach up and back, spiraling the thumbs back. Exhale, hands down. High push up. Step that back. You can float the left foot. See how my shoulders and wrists are in line just like we did in sun A. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, half or all the way down. Inhale, up dog or cobra. And then down dog. The vinyasa part is really challenging on the triceps, the whole body. So if you get tired, you can skip the vinyasa and just go straight to down dog. Let's go through sun B, one breath per movement. We're gonna synchronize our breath with the movement. That's really the magic in yoga. Starting with chair pose at the top of our mat, inhale, look, float. Choose your position, halfway lift, exhale, fold. This is where toes together, heels apart, or shoulder width apart. Inhale, chair, 
Exhale, hold. Inhale, halfway lift. You choose. Shoot back, step back. Or go straight to down dog. Inhale, right leg. Exhale to chest and step. Back foot flat. Your inhale is root and rise. Up and back. Exhale, hands down. Step back, flow, or go straight to down dog. Left side, left leg. In the chest, mindfully step. Back foot flat. Rise up and back. Feel the strength. Step it back, flow. It's called vinyasa. Down dog. Let's take a reset breath. Sun B, check. We have four more rounds of Sun B. It's challenging. So let's get our mind right. Shake no with your head. Get rid of any negative thoughts. And then shake yes. Yes, you can do this and you can always modify to any way that your body needs. Part of being mindful is listening to your body. So let's get started. Top of our mat. Halfway lift and fold. Get your feet set, chair pose. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. You can shoot back or step back. Your choice. You can go all the way down, halfway down, meet and down dog. Inhale, right leg, into chest, gently step. Ground your feet, reach up and back. Warrior one right, and exhale. Vinyasa, or no, vinyasa. We'll meet and down dog, left side. Three-legged dog, knee to chest, land it. Feel the power and the strength in your warrior one. Synchronizing the breath. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Beautiful. From here, let's take a reset breath. And let's go into another round. Up on the toes, bend the knees, float. Look up as you chair pose, look down. As you inhale, look to the top of your mat. As you exhale, hold that gaze to the top of your mat. Flow it out, look up. Gaze between the ankles. Right leg. Look to the top of your mat. Reach your arms up and gaze to the sky. Follow your hands down to the mat. Flow. Look up on your up dog and look to your ankles on your down dog. Left leg, step, take your gaze up and back. See how far you can take it. Hands down, look to the top of your mat until you gaze up with your up dog and down dog. Take a reset breath. Let's do one more round with just the breath and then we'll do it on our own. Here we go. Ready, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, in, out, in, out, in, out. In. out. In, out, in, out, reset breath. Really good work. I know I'm feeling the heat. We are creating it together. 
This last round is on your own, or you can take a rest. Up to you, if you wanna follow me, I will show you the sequence of Sun B one more time before we get to the peak pose. Let's roll. When you're finished, take a reset in that child's pose for three to five breaths. Take a moment to notice your heart rate. Notice the temperature of your body. Notice if you started to create a little bit of a sweat, toxins leaving your body, body cooling yourself down. You're doing really great work. This is all leading up to the peak pose that we're about to embark on. So take a moment to finish your breaths in child's pose and take a seat. I'm going to demonstrate for you flip dog to side plank. Just demonstrating first so you guys can get an idea of what to do. Starting with the right leg in that three legged dog. And then I'm going to bend my right knee. So my heels towards my glute. I'm gonna peek under my right armpit and I'm gonna let gravity slowly take me over. I'm gonna look at my left arm, my left shoulder and left wrist are in line and my fingertips are wide. I'm gonna look at my feet. They're shoulder width apart approximately and my toes are straight ahead at 12. I'm gonna reach my right arm all the way back Pressing my feet down and forward. With all the intensity, I'm going to try and relax my face and focus on my ujjayi breath in and out my nose. Looking down to the mat, I'm going to smoothly come back into that high push-up position, stacking my shoulders and my wrists, and I'm going to shift my feet over to the right as I lift my left arm up to the sky, taking a peek to see that my shoulder and my wrist are in line. So I'm not damaging my shoulder and I want to lift my hips as high as I can till I come into a peak pose where I open up and look up. Now there's a modified version to this. The right knee comes down and I can lift my left leg just the same, just a little more supported. So you can kind of play around with that. All right. So let's try it. And we're going to do the same on the other side, but the directions are exact same. If this is too intimidating for you to start, I'm gonna encourage you to try your flip dog from a seated position. You can keep your feet shoulder width apart, heels towards your butt. Place that right hand down and my left arm is gonna go between my knees to the ground. This is a great way to start if you've never done a flip dog and you reach your hips up and then take that left arm to the back wall. And if you wanna reset yourself, you can come back down and come back up. It's a great way to learn how to do a flip dog without any stress. But those of you that wanna try it with me, we're gonna go into that peak pose. Meet me in down dog, toes together. Inhale the left, right leg up, bend and stack. Really see if you can get that heel toward your glute and start to follow to your right, looking at your wrist and your shoulder to make sure it's in line. Heels, shoulder width apart, toes 12 o'clock. Taking that right arm all the way to the back wall, relaxing the face, maybe if it feels good, let your head just fall back, relaxed. Really nice, start to take your gaze to the mat and using your core tight, 
flip to that high push-up position. Now you can take the knee down, we can start there, or keep it up. Left arm goes to the sky, lifting the hips, looking up, maybe taking full expression. Got it. Looking to the mat, and you can flow or just go straight to that down dog. I'll meet you there. So empowering. I love this peak pose of Sun B. Let's take the left side. Left leg up, bend and stack. Start to open that hip until you find yourself flipped. Again, this is too intimidating. Just start on the ground and come on up. Reach the left arm way forward. Relax the face. Look over, using your core to come to that high push-up. Knee can come down, I'll show it modified on this side. Reach that right arm up. The right foot is parallel to the back of the mat. And then you can lift up and look up. Otherwise, you're stacking your feet into that full side plank position. Lifting, 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 looking. And then your choice, maybe one last vinyasa, which is high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog. You did it. Come on down, take a resting child's pose for a few breaths and know you did it. Notice your heart racing. Maybe notice the blood flowing but also notice how you feel. Do you feel energized? Do you feel powerful? Do you feel accomplished? And this is just phase two of Journey Into Power. I invite you to join me in the next video, Vitality, where we take this heat and we build on it with twisting chair, twisting Crescent Warrior into a Warrior Two, and taking that to the extended side angle, building our way up to Crow. I know it sounds intimidating for some, but I promise you, you can do it. I look forward to taking the journey with you, and I acknowledge and honor all your hard work today. Great work, namaste.